This is my home. I love to walk around that beach, yellow beach, when the tide's out. We're actually here to um, film and record, um, you know, my voice and, and the images for um, our cultural project that we're working on. Um, Rena, Marpley, Nimanina, Kalakina, and that is really to teach the young generation uh, the knowledge and skills of um, not only the shell necklace making and collecting, but um, basket weaving and making the kelp basket. So, but this particular spot that we're in at um, Holloway Point is just down the road from where Rex and I used to live when we were married, and um, just and up above that, at the base of Vinegar Hill, is where I grew up as a from the age of about ten, I think, until I got married. So. You know, it's very close to home. It's probably the first beach we would have come to to swim and collect shells as a teenage. Shells at this beach are the blue mariner shells which are growing on the bubble weed um, that sort of floats in the water. It's a, and um, really you can only come and collect properly when you get a good low tide. This project is meant to be the legacy project for me living my knowledge and skills, obviously to the next generation. So I've been making it now for 35 years, probably 36 years this year. Um, and I started, had done my associate diploma in fine arts and people were asking me about, you know, shell necklaces. And, and I thought at first, I know that stays there in my heart. I don't have to, you know, talk about it in public or to students at Tutas. <laughs> And it wasn't until you looked at other artists and you really don't know anything about them until they can talk for themselves about where they come from, etc., which makes it more interesting. But for me, you know, it was really important to know from my mother, um, Valerie Burgess, it was her maiden name, obviously she was sainty when she married Dad, and without her I wouldn't have known anything to start with. So we. Um, she told me a little bit of knowledge about when she lived on the island and she started making and she learned from her grandmother because her mother died when she was quite young. Mum, mum was only 12 when her mother died. So she then learned from her grandmother and when she moved into the house where we grew up as kids, her grandmother had left her a jar of shells there which is a lovely symbol of handing, you know, handing it on to her, that generation.